you get this house printed with concrete and then you got to go in and finish all these weird curved on you know spaces with regular drywall make it look like a regular house and by the time you do that it's way more expensive than yeah, yeah. yeah. somebody in in virginia got a house donated to them through uh habitat that was uh 3d printed oh nice mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've I've looked into that just kind of out of curiosity more than anything, and it, it's one of those things that's kind of like um, it's kind of like buying an electric car. It's it's a great idea, but there's just so many drawbacks. You know, you get this you get this house printed with concrete, and then you got to go in and finish all these weird curved, un, you know, spaces with regular drywall, make it look like a regular house, and by the time you do that, it's way more expensive. Than, yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, but it gets put up a lot quicker. That's for sure. Um, I guess. I guess that's true if you want to save time. And I think as <clears throat> technology gets a little better. It will, yeah. Uh, yeah, I see know. that happening. I actually, one of the things I think is going to happen in the near future is modular prices are going to come down. They're going to figure out how to have robots build modular homes. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've done some, we've done some uh, mobile homes on land where we bought a mobile home and put it on land. And that was a little bit painful, but I could definitely see a company uh, building a product that is almost 95% put together at the factory. And it's just, you're just slapping it together on site. You know, it, that, re that relieves a lot of labor costs that you have and, and those types. I really think that's going to be next gen on new construction. Well, they're never exposed to the elements while they're being built, yep. like you would a stick built. And, you know, they're going to have to meet code beyond uh, just what your state does, because it has to meet code across the country, depending on where they're shipping to. Yep. Um, so there's there's a lot of positives for that. We mm -hmm. actually, Jeff, we're talking about that in our hot seat of our King City Mastermind the other day. Um, you know, someone was looking, you know, has a lot of lots, but is taking their time building houses. And that was one of the suggestions was to go modular. But I would imagine modular. What? I'm just thinking it's a lot harder to steal a quarter of the house if you have it delivered. Yeah, on that's for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of pros to doing modular. Yeah. I think the only issue we have is, you know, a lot of a lot of realtors hear modular and they think mobile home. But right. You know, mm -hmm. we got to get away. We got to get away from that stigma. Right. But appraisal wise, you know, they come in strong, just like still stick built does. Yeah. And they're usually built better than stick built houses. Yeah. Obviously. They're straighter and, and, and heavier construction because they got to be transported. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's, I think that's really the next, the next generation. And then maybe, you know, having full houses delivered if, if they get to a certain size, you know, anything under a thousand square feet, maybe you can just have the whole house delivered. Yeah. And, and set on a pad. Yeah. Yeah. By drone. <laughs> yeah, by drone. <laughs> I was thinking that. I was like, hey, just, like, just drop it right You in. just call Amazon. Hey, can you bring a house over here? Right. <laughs> They're probably looking into it.